when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away and made to watch these movies to stay alive until the day they made us. Welcome prisoners, I've waited too long to make you watch another bad movie, but that wait ends now. <laughs> I trust you both got your Christmas presents. Yeah, thanks a lot for that giant box of microwavable popcorn, even though I have no microwave, and the 10... Count them ten copies of Ghoulies Four. <laughs> I knew you'd love it. Love isn't exactly the four letter word that I'd use to describe them. It's okay, Master Evil. I love a pop popcorn and Ghoulies Four. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yes, the clown uh, loves unpop popcorn. It's just really unsettling to listen to him chew, chew on that shit all night in his barrel right next to my bed. Thanks a lot for that, Master Evil. What about Josh, honey? Did he get his present? Yes! Did you receive your gift, Josh? I got it right here, actually. <laughs> uh, it's just weird, though. Um, it talks all the time. It won't shut up. I, but no matter where I look, I can't seem to find the batteries anywhere. Hmm. It has no batteries. It's just a doll I sent to torment you in advance of making you watch tonight's shitty movie. Child's Play 3. It has to have batteries. It talks all the time. I'm so tired of listening to it, actually. You ain't exactly great to listen to yourself, asshole. See what I mean? It won't shut up. I can't even count how many phrases this thing has built into it. It's, it's nuts. You can't even count to ten, Josh. Hey! That's not cool. See what I mean? It won't shut up. So uh, it's official. Josh, Josh is on the, on the funny farm. He's off the reservation. He's lost it. What, what do you mean? He says you're nutso because you're talking to a doll. <laughs> it's not the talking to the doll thing that scares me. It's the talking back to yourself as the doll thing that scares me. Son. Did you finally break your prisoner? I am so proud of you. Thanks, Ma. What the hell are you guys talking about? Break me? The doll is talking, not me. That's right, blame the little guy. I think I was sent here to be tortured by you. How does it respond to exactly what I'm saying, guys? That is crazy. Okay, that's enough. Even I'm getting weirded out now. This is nothing. Try living with a rodeo clown who lives in a barrel at the foot of your bed. And the bed is not a bed, okay? It looks like where Jesus Christ was born. It's a bunch of hay that keeps getting stuck up my ass, and it's hotter than hell in there, so I'm sweating and breaking out constantly. Josh going bye-bye? That's nothing. Josh going bye-bye? <laughs> wow, guys, I am right here. You know what? I'm getting pretty upset with this stuff, I have to admit. Yeah. Admitted to the psychiatric ward, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good one, Chucky. Chucky? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Josh. Now you got me jumping on the crazy train right along with you, bud. Okay, fine. Can we just move on and watch the movie? 
Yes, please. That way I don't got to be held by this psycho anymore. The nutter is talking to a doll. Indeed. Tonight's movie is Child's Play 3. When the filmmakers saw how well Child's Play 2 did, they instantly ordered the studio to shit out this abomination. Set several years after the events of Part 2, we find a teenage Andy in the place no one asked the filmmakers to place him. Military school! The plot is tired, convoluted, and the sequel was rushed in and out of production so fast no one noticed how bad it was until it was too late. Now go and watch your movie and suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Open the ball. So nice to be doing a real movie. Universal. It's got to be good, right? Stands for Child's Universal. Stands for Universal Shitter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the movie where I think they realized they had to do they had to change something up. Uh, you know, and we got like the Chucky series after this instead. Hey, look, a bunch of plastic dildos. So. There you go. And there's the mess left behind after using it. That's not a dildo, Josh. That's a plastic, a good guy's fleshlight. Oh, okay. Mm, that's the aftermath, bud. <laughs> this guy is playing the world's shittiest crane game. It takes blood, sweat, and tears to win those things. I've seen some people play those crane mm. games that are, like, can somehow do it in one or two tries. They've actually figured it out. It's rigged. I don't know how you figure something out that's rigged. Yeah, because I used to load those for a company. What they do is they loosen the, the claw whenever too much has been won to counteract the, the cost. Okay, I got a question for you, Alex. Okay. All that blood going in there brings Chucky back to life. But unless they're making one gigantic fucking doll, shouldn't there be like an army of Chucky's running around after they make uh, whatever they're making out of this? You'd think that, but it, it, like, doesn't it have to just be his con- like? Isn't his consciousness or his con whatever it is, whatever makes him Charles Lee Ray? Doesn't it only go into one body? Well, well, yeah, but like, the blood is all through there. So I, you know what? Let's just watch him make this glass of uh, Nesquik strawberry and see what happens. This right here looks like when there was a special on CBS when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the logo there was like very straight to video. Okay, you, you're you're saying that looks like Nestle Quick. I'm saying that looks like the 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 sandwich spread goobers. Goober great. Boy, yeah, I had put peanut butter and the jelly in the same jar. And every time we'd go down the aisle, I'd tell my mom I wanted it. And every time she'd say, no, we have both at home. I'm not paying more <laughs> for it to be in the same jar. Sorry. Ugh. For some reason, that reminds me of uh, Friday the 13th, part three. Oh, by the, uh, the it looked like the puppet stuff, the veins and vessels. But that hand you just saw, look up Marjorie Taylor Greene's feet. She's a congresswoman. Yeah. And it looks just like her feet, man. She's got deformed little funky feet. She got Marjorie a lot of varicose, Taylor Greene. A lot of varicose veins running through those digits of hers, huh? 
No, she just got tiny little toes that look deformed. <laughs> oh, like hammer toes. Dude, it's so weird. So creepy. So when they're making this doll, nobody's saying, hey, do, do all the dolls always have like and shit? Uh, is that, is that, are we just going to ignore? Okay, we're just going to ignore that. Whoever's in charge of the production line part of like this specific part uh, totally just uh, glossed over the fact that this this doll has a skeletal system, a muscular uh, <laughs> under underbelly, uh, tendons, veins. He's a trainee, you know. The, his trainers walked away, so he doesn't know if this is normal. You know, is this normal? Did the dolls usually scream at us? Hello. Okay, I'm gonna mark it as fine. Inspected like, by I'm, number twelve. There you go. Yeah, I'm taking my fifteen minute break. I don't give a shit anyway. <laughs> He likes he likes long walks on the beach, Barney the purple dinosaur, and putting the straw into his juice box all by himself. <laughs> He's uh, they make an odd it, couple, don't they? Sitcom any, coming to ABC this fall. Anytime someone brought out the old slideshow thing, it's like, anyway, who wants to see the slideshow of my trip to Hawaii? Huh? Why is your trip from Hawaii? You got some middle aged dude. Uh, and, and like a little kid on there is, is this, and, and where did the hell did they get the picture of Charles Lee Ray standing outside of the fucking toy store from part one? Who took that picture and gave it to him for the slideshow? It wasn't a mug shot. It was like, it was a picture taken of him. They, they it's still from the first movie, from the first scene of the first movie, whenever he's getting uh, chased by the cops, you it's know, it's kind of like, guy who supplied the photo of, uh, the corner for Jason goes to hell uh, for when it says missing on the hard copy TV show. The corner missing. Or for, or Jason Jason's picture from uh, A New Beginning. Who took that yeah. picture of Jason? The only person to ever encounter him and live and actually snap a photo of it too. Show me troubled, drowned young boy. Show it to me. Oh. <laughs> more. More, Jason. More. I want to see I want to see stoic. Show me angry. Show me angry. Click, click. We're going to sell the fuck out of these dolls that are 10 years old. This is a reenactment, actually, for the new Toys That Made Us episode for Good Guys Dolls uh, coming (laughs) to Netflix. Very retro of them. This guy, this, this business is so shitty that after ten years of Good Guys dolls not being on the market, the only idea that this head, the CEO, has is to bring back the doll that was popular ten years prior. That was and the reason. Yeah, ten years later. Reason, yeah, you got a built-in nanny cam. Look at that. Uh, and they they took them off the shelves because of the whole Andy Barclay incident, kind of like Stay Puft Marshmallows. And the new Ghostbusters flick, they're still selling it. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, still the mascot. So I guess him killing hundreds of people in New York in 84, you know, and just they went all in on it, you know, fuck it. They're sell these marshmallows. They're blinded by the former prophet. They're chasing their former glory. And it's, uh, I, lo- I, I can't wait to see if it works out for them in this film, <laughs> Josh. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. I think he made the right call. I always like to use my elevator out of my uh, living room at night to go down to the foyer, into the kitchen. Is this his office or is this his penthouse? Does he live here? I think it's his penthouse. Why the hell is he conducting business at his house then? This guy really needs to separate work and his personal life. He's He's got more issues than being an evil son of a bitch. Oh, uh, going to make me nice glass of scotch, light up a cigar and fondle this doll. As long as it's still in that box and hasn't climbed out on its own, I got a good night ahead of me. Yes, sir. I surely do. Going to have all goober, goober filled lube in the good guy doll. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not crunchy. Oh, it feels so real. What is that? Oh, it's goober, goober jelly jam. Oh, that computer's high-tech. It's running DOS. 
pre pre internet computers are are cute. I light this cigar. Goddamn mine slipped and oh well, I'm gonna smoke it anyhow. Chucky's gonna shove that cigar straight up his ass here in a second. We'll see what's on TV. Oh, got to set down softly to hemorrhoids, man. He did set down very slowly and deliberately. <laughs> oh, turning the lights down. Isn't that cute? This evil CEO has a train set set up in his penthouse. His evil lair. He's got a train set. And the train has freaking lasers. I'm going to watch about two seconds of the news, I think. Ooh, a golf, a golf club. News, golf club. News, eh, no, I think I'd rather golf. Yeah, fuck the news. What kind of hey, it's the Wonder that? Woman logo on the door. Wonder yeah. Woman. Wonder Woman, 80, 84, this is an uncut scene. <laughs> 94. <laughs> Wonder Woman, 94. Wonder Woman versus Andy Barkley. See if we make it past this. Dude, Price is right, baby. He just, he just won a car. There, that's one of uh, their toy line right there. Jar of Marvels. <laughs> <clears throat> it's from their toy line, Jar those of are, Marbles. All those guys at the evil business table, that's all they get to come up with is a Jar of Marbles from the 50s. <laughs> I don't know why I just pictured Dan Aykroyd's toy salesman from the old SNL skits, you know, so the bag of glass <laughs> stuff. They say for kids. See, they, they play with the broken glass. And I know I put that hemorrhoid pillow around here somewhere. <laughs> He's like, I'm used to the stuff I'm wanting to play with just showing up like that club did. Come yeah, on, come to me. He's so used to being in charge of all the people that work underneath him and being afraid of him that even inanimate objects bow to him. <laughs> he's like, come to me, come to me. See, it works every time. Works every time. Got to get the clicker. That's a remote control, kiddies. Dude, this guy can't stand up very well. He can't sit down very well. <laughs> what the hell is going on with his lower undercarriage? Did he just home alone him? He just home alone him. <laughs> Except hey, this is what the, would really happen to him. Here <laughs> comes really a hurt. fucking paint can in a second right into his face. <laughs> I've got a pet tarantula. Wait a second. Hold on one second. How is Chucky getting all these things to work? Chucky is still three feet tall, right? Yeah, he, and he's, he doesn't have superpowers other than yeah. voodoo. So how's he getting all this stuff to work? I'm not understanding this. Maybe it was all made out of the blood, plastic from the, the his blood dripped in. I don't know. Yeah, Charles Lee Ray's essence is in all of these, even the Marvel. <laughs> God, God damn it, Andy. I came back as a fucking remote control helicopter. Hi, my name is Larry. Are you getting paid to be in the movie? My name is Tommy. I like to be hugged. Don't stick it in there. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. Something's fishy here. Wait, if you're there, then who's there and there? Is that your name? I didn't, we didn't introduce ourselves. He's just going to casually crawl away. Who knew that this looks all, so painful? Who knew that all these terrible, immoral decisions he had made in his life would lead to this moment? I didn't need that kidney. Oh, that's right in the middle. Okay, it looked like it hit him in the side. Now it's directly in the middle. 
Oh, he's paralyzed from a dart? Damn. <clears throat> hey, you don't have to worry about them hemorrhoids anymore. Or those children that he has. And those, uh, those are probably not even his kids. Those probably just came with the frame. <laughs> Either that or he's darker than we could have ever imagined. Why, why was Chucky afraid of him making a phone call? You know, who's going to believe him anyways? The doll's killing me. The doll's killing me. Send the police. They're going to arrest Chucky. Dude, I've watched a lot of Forensic Files episodes and like CSI stuff. It takes minutes to strangle someone to death, let alone with a freaking Duncan yo yo yo. Yeah, I know. Last time I tried it in Duncan yo yo, it took like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, to strangle somebody. <laughs> but seriously, Chucky has been stuck as a melted glob of goo for ten years, and somehow knows how to use the internet and the computer and shit. There is like as soon as he wakes up. There isn't an internet back then. No, this is the year 2000, man. This is 10 years after part two. Well, there was no dial-up sound, so I'm already taken out of the realism <laughs> of the film. <laughs> ee-o, ee-o. <laughs> whenever Clark I hear Kent the military school. <laughs> dude, whenever I hear the sound of dial-up internet, I just get rock hard because it reminds me of the old days of trying to download porn on LimeWire. <laughs> Total crap. What, last week? Yeah, oh, yeah. Total crapshoot. You don't know what you're actually downloading. So let's let's be the people coming up with the plot for part three real quick, okay? So, uh, Mr. Vanover, Chucky yeah. has torturized, tor- terrorized a kid and his mom in, the apart- in their apartment. Then we took him to a foster home. Then to the fucking factory where he was made, and he was destroyed there. We're thinking military school for the third one. Does that does that sound like a perfect uh, jump for you two? And yeah, it does. And also, uh, we're gonna place it ten years into the future with no backstory uh, given. We're just we're there. Okay. And we're gonna feather we're gonna go the with, with shit fifteen years out of Andy's hair. Yeah. I am a troublemaker, sir. I need discipline. <laughs> You're right. The system, I don't fit in. I need help, sir. Yes, sir. I'll totally forget all the traumatic events in my youth, sir. Thank you. Job well done. You were a child? Holy shit. I thought that when he was born, he just came out with all those stars and stripes in that suit right. and that receding hairline of his. Are you going to make out with me now? Now, right, let's get a nice zoom in on this guy's veins and everything. And All right, zoom out, zoom out. There you go, perfect shot. There's the Academy Award win. Winning a shot for cinematography. Uh, he's getting a little too into this uh, haircut on this child here, Josh. Aren't you a little weirded out by this? That and all the pictures of all the children on the wall, yes. And that he's watching cartoons. I'm not even I'm not even sure if this is the actual barber or if this is Uncle Frank pretending to be the barber. From Hellraiser. That kid said it always feels a little weird at first. Yeah, and so does the haircut. Too dark, too dark. That was too dark. That's too a dark. hell of it. You you went dark a couple times here, and I'm just kind of pretending I'm like sorry. I didn't hear those jokes. <laughs> I'm about ready to cancel your ass. <laughs> the real barber walks in. God damn it, Ted, get out of here. He wears I'm not going camo over this with you again. He wears camo when he cuts people's hair, so that he likes to do it so much that they they won't see it coming. He just sneaks up, and all of a sudden, bzzz, bzzz, like, like, oh, shit, I'm getting my haircut. He's a master at his... Look at that. He's fantastic at his work, man. Look at that gang gear. 
uh, so is this a rerun of the good guys? Because this is ten years later. I guess they're they're bringing back the commercial instead of just making the new one ten years later. Let's just use a really old retro commercial. Well, you, what hold on. kid is going to have a Game Gear and be like, "Ooh, a doll"? Okay, here, hold on one second. So the guy who made the decision, the guy who's like the head of the company for the good guys, was just murdered. Okay, the same night that he greenlit them to bring good guys back. So the deal wasn't even officially done yet. But, right. you know, he's he's dead. Push the deal through anyway. We don't care. Everybody was trying to talk him out of it, too. He's the only one that was like, no, I've made my decision. Yeah, he's dead now. They wouldn't even have went with the decision. It's over. Isn't it a little soon for the commercials to already be airing? It, yeah, it just <laughs> happened. It just happened. <clears throat> I don't know, Josh. Is that hair military stand? I mean, that's kind of long on top there. <laughs> that might be a little bit longer than military issue. I don't know. The real barber showed up and made him stop. Yeah, the real barber's tied up in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> There's the real barber. Yeah, because I know exactly who the hell you're talking about, buddy. I put myself in there. Nice to meet you. I'm a coward. Nice to meet you, Barclay. My name's Whitehead, Whitehurst. Did Egon Spangler uh, teach on this military academy grounds and just father that father that guy right there? I don't know, but he said Sheldon is God around here. Welcome to hell. I don't think you read the same book I did, buddy. So what's the age brackets here for the school? Is, every, is it like every age is in the same grade or something? Because they're not really separated. They're all together. It's like a little house on the prairie. They had like one teacher, or yeah, like in a tiny, you know, wooden schoolhouse where they just have like the sixth, sixth graders, fifth graders, second graders, first graders, kindergartners, all in the same class. I like the way you look. I guess. I guess God. your yeah. I guess social interaction cues I've had since I was a child. Uh, when someone talks to me, I can I look at them. <laughs> I apologize. What's my last name? Oh, it's sir. Andy's like Sheldon. Andy's like I really apologize. You know, I just moved in. Uh, they gave me a uniform. I'm I have no prior military experience. I apologize. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. This freaking nerd should have warned him about this guy. Like more more so than he did. Like mm -hmm. no, seriously, this guy's an asshole. Don't like, look for at real. him. Yeah, make sure you don't, don't look, look at him. Don't look at him. Gives you permission. Yeah, don't look him directly in the eyes. White, this is Whitehurst's fault. Fuck Whitehurst. Besides my penis. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Do I s s stutter? Ooh, feisty. <laughs> She's sassy, man. Andy's immediately intrigued, too. I thought that's what you said, but I have hearing issues. Thank you for clarifying. Is she the only female in this entire school? Yeah, she's like the Smurfette of the military academy. 
apparently so. I don't see another one. What the hell? She's doing like diamond push ups, kind of right there. Look where her hands were. They were like inverted. Camera pans out and turns. She's just like doing it against a wall. Yeah, she's like Michelangelo in Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> just kind of jumping up with his hands and making noises like he's doing flips, counting. Only the finish. So if I'm not if I'm not finish, no way, no fucking way, Josh. She was struggling no. doing normal push-ups. Come on, turn the movie off. I've had enough. Listen, possessed serial killer dolls. Uh, it's believable. Uh, that lady doing one-handed push-ups. No fucking way. The movie's ruined. Sorry, Master Evil. Yeah, you ruined the movie with that, Master Evil, you son of a bitch. Your dad doesn't love you, by the way. He hates you. You're a bitter mistake. He regrets... Your dad does pay tuition on time, though, so we love him here. Uh, We understand how you have beef with him, though, son. Yeah, let's break U.S. postal postal laws. Give this, take somebody else's mail and give it to him. How the hell did he? Did Chucky seal himself in the box from the out? Like, who taped it? Josh. Tiffany. Tiffany? No. There's no Tiffany at this point in the storyline. Who the hell taped this box, Josh? <laughs> he's 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 fucking good. He's like, you better freaking seal me up good. You know, whoever <laughs> did this, or I'll freaking gut you. Make sure you put the tape on there, whatever person who did this. <laughs> Nothing like a self-sealing up to get the circulation going. Dude, I'm serious. Who the fuck wrapped it and sealed it? <laughs> Why does this kid look like he's thinking about where he's going to go, like, do something bad at? Like, oh, oh, I gotta get, I'll gotta. i take this over there. Nobody will see me there. He He's trying to, like, be sneaky with a box that's bigger than him. <laughs> right? I don't know they're what like, have anything. They're like, what is that box with arms and legs doing running across the military base? <laughs> <laughs> It's Sheldon from uh, the Farmhouse Pals or whatever. Remember the egg? Yeah. If, oh, from Garfield and Friends. Yes. Now, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Not only did he seal the box, right? With He sealed the box, but he also taped and wrapped the box. But he's in the box. In the How box, How the hell did he yeah. even get the paper around the box? You gonna you gonna dime him? You gonna drop a dime on him, Chucky? I gotta seal myself back up in a box, then wrap myself in paper again. Damn it, man! You don't know how hard that is. <laughs> Odd day, do a seal me a seal me in this box. I beg of you, man. Chucky, Chucky's got some piercing blue eyes, man. He needs to. Start, you know, using that face for print ads, man. You make some money. Stop this strangling bullshit. <laughs> start, right? start a new career. Okay, he just revealed himself to to Tyler. He's gonna, uh, Chucky's going to be a bro. Yeah, he, he could just, you know, take care of it right now. Uh, I don't know why there's any more movie left. Take care of it now, Chucky. Movie's over. Ah! Oh. You, hey, you, you shot it twice in the top there, see? He's literally had zero military training, but they're having him full uniform, shoot a gun now. Zero training. Nothing. Zip. Here's this loaded firearm. <laughs> yeah, here you go. We trust you. Wait. There's no holes in the top of hers. It was never hanging up. Did you see that? No. 
Whitehurst and, and Andy's had little holes in the top where it was hanging on the thing. Hers yeah. had no holes in the top. It was never hanging up anywhere. She's oh. so full of shit. Lord, man, she set him. She set him up. So what you want to do is shoot that paper. Oh, that, that's where. I'm, okay. He's gonna have a hard time shooting this gun with a boner, Josh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time making jokes about kids shooting guns at school, so it's I'm just gonna set this one out. I've got I'll take care of this one. He's gonna be very distracted being so strongly, you know, sexually attracted to this uh cadet here. The only girl on campus. <laughs> yeah. This guy he is got a raging erection right now. He's gonna be lucky to hit that paper. You know that little wet dots through his pants there. Bullseye. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, back in the storage locker. Yeah. <laughs> Hogan's Heroes. Hide the pickle. I mean, hide the soul. Josh. <laughs> The kid's just so happy to have a friend. He doesn't care about how fucking demonic it looks. Andy Nobody's see... outside going, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, Andy doesn't see that uh, right now. Local weatherman's like, holy shit. You no, know, somebody that watched the weatherman earlier today is like, 15% of precipitation, my ass. <laughs> There's only a 5% chance of demonic storm clouds today. Yeah. I used to play a game called Hide the Pickle. Is it like that? I just told you I was playing with the doll. That was talking back. Oh, he's going to play hide the pickle. You never heard a doll talk? Okay. Well, he really did, did come out looking like that. Josh, he the doll didn't say, I'll be back, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's the uh, problem. Yes. Left, left. Left, 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 left. Andy looks like I did when I was playing high school football. Just no freaking clue what the plays are. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Didn't look at my playbook at all. No idea. Start singing a Fallout Boy song. <laughs> no clue. No, there was another girl, Josh. There was another girl with glasses, blonde, curly hair. Thar. Holy shit, we have a sighting. Yep, she looked like a complete nerd, but she was definitely... There she is, boom. There she is. Are you sure that's not there a dude go. with long hair? Oh, no, there's boobs. There's boobage. Goddamn doll not calling me, sir. Gun goes off, shoot somebody. Hey, hey you saw Andy practicing at the range. Even if he... Got lucky he ain't shooting anybody. Now how the fuck would Chuck he know that's me? He wasn't there when they cast the new actor. He wouldn't know. Well, yeah, he, he wasn't in the pitch meeting. Uh, no, he would never know. He doesn't look anything like him. Oh, he looked him up. He looked him up earlier on the computer on the internet. Shit. Man, this guy better have like decent breath because he's in Andy's face a lot. Can I have permission to look at you, sir? Oh God, this line. Your pants. I don't understand. Can you do it again? 
this is my rifle, this is my gun. He's all, this gun should be more important to you than your cock, sir. Barkley? Well, it's doll pickup time. This poor freaking garbage man. Chuck, he's not yelling because he's getting dumped. He's yelling because he was dropped on top of a vodka bottle. This garbage man just doing his freaking nine to five, five days a week, freaking doing the front loader at the garbage company. Picked up a homicidal murderer that has no clue his ass is dead during his terrible Sir. route. Sir, please, I didn't ask to be in the shitter of a sequel. Dude. Should never jump in the back of a garbage truck unless you do the lockout tag out, man. This is making me nervous. Or unless you're in an earnest movie where you can live through that sort of thing. Yeah, on sort Ernest, of... Ernest Scared Stupid, the guy fired the one garbage man in town. <laughs> Didn't you know, help, help, I'm in the back of this garbage truck. That's uh, one of uh, the good guy's built-in phrases. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what I told Dude, this guy's dead, man. It looks like that looked like the cleaners from uh, the labyrinth right there. It's the cleaners. This is the worst death in the entire franchise. Just awful, man. In the book, it's even worse. Oh, my God. Oh, like y'all don't hear a man screaming every day. Dude, that guy's sound effects for his voice when he's getting crushed by the garbage uh, truck. That was actually Josh and I's voice when we found out we were having to watch this. They just redubbed our screams. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, no. Oh, no, the the garbage truck is bleeding. He's never going to finish his route now. It's its time of the month. I'm shining a shoe. Are you that dim, Andy? Pretty obvious what he's doing. Yeah, I'm shining my shoes because if I don't, that guy is going to be a dick to us and I don't want him in my face again for the hundredth time today. Like, you don't have to go to military school to see. I'm shining a shoe, man. (laughs) Shoe? (laughs) Shining. Put it on your foot. Looks nice. Don't get yelled at. Well, he's shining the fuck out of that one spot. Sniff it. Oh, okay. He spit... He spit on the inside where you put your foot. Did you see that? Yes. He didn't spit on the shoe. He spit in the actual part of the shoe that goes on your foot. Yeah, he did that so... He did that so Sheldon would get... Spit on his sock, I guess. I... Oh, and I'm here to kill you. Have a good night. Okay, well, thanks for being so vague and then rolling your eyes at me like a dick. See you later. Who would send me a package? It's not my mom. She's in the psychiatric ward. Who do I know? Oh, yeah, Chucky. (laughs) I had a crate just like that growing up. How many people does Andy actually know? Who would send him a package? He should have figured it out right there. He's already literally seen Chucky being carried by somebody, and then somebody got killed. Oh, Sheldon left him a... I thought that was a CD. It is the 2000s. He's probably going to make a burn CD here in a second. Why does he oh, have a picture oh, of some it. other kid that's not him? <laughs> that's not him. Why not a more recent picture of him and his mom? Why is it a picture of whenever he was, you know, the from part two or part one? His Achilles tendons are are in trouble here, Josh. Oh, why didn't Chucky take him out? 
even a superficial wound to the Achilles tendon would put you down for a while. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Damn. And an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I think he's a little proud of him right there. He's all, I like to choke anybody, and now Andy likes to choke his chicken. Proud of him. <laughs> you think they could get away with that line nowadays? Shit? Yeah, you think they could get no. that line nowadays? I don't think so. Brad Dourif playing a part in black. No. Chucky's only weakness. <laughs> A shoe or whatever he threw it. <laughs> what all he did was threw it at a doll. Did it mess the shoe up that bad? If so, you need a new pair of shoes, buddy. Man, Chucky's Ooh. hair right there looks like your hair right now, Josh. Look at that. Hey, fuck you. That's Chucky needs to put a hat on. I got a hat on. <laughs> yeah, it's Chuck. It's Chucky. Oh my god. <laughs> slash Where tracks. Josh go? <laughs> yeah, slash tracks with Chucky and Alex. Clark Kent Military School. Oh wait, it took its classes. Uh, where did military school go? It's Superman. How, where, where did you show up? How come there's no actual military personnel on the base except for all the students? And why are the students teaching the students? That's a good question. Why are there only two females so far? Yeah, what? seriously, there's no, like, how much money are they making at this facility, man? Like, they're, they, they don't even pay anyone to teach the classes. They just have the students teach the students. Yeah, that's a good way to, to be subtle. Just walk through the hall holding the knife out. Did he ever... We, he, we never see him address the wound he had on his Achilles tendon, on his heel. Yeah, that even a superficial one would be would hurt pretty bad. Oh, yeah, he'd be bleeding all over the place, for sure. He's going to stick that knife right up his asshole here in a second. You want your shoes shined? I'll shine them for you. Right up your keister. I'll give your ass permission to look at my knife. Andy's hair is like just perfectly gelled up, man. That is a quaff. That's a Zach Morris Saved by the Bell quaff if I've ever seen one. Well, he just called timeout next time, Chuck. He's attacking. Oh, absolutely. Zach Morris versus Chucky. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Shit. He's got a picture of a shadow of a knife on his wall. That's creepy. Why didn't Chucky take the musket right above <laughs> the muzzle loader? Right? <laughs> um... What is that on the blanket? Is oh. that a monogram like name or is that like the military facility's name? The school. So all Sheldon knows is that Andy sat on him in bed. <laughs> well, he's got a knife in his hand too, though. It's my doll. Where's the chocolate chip cookies, too? Where's my gummy bears? I don't know, but I've been told this tired plot is getting old. I know, man. Nothing is, <laughs> we're like 45 minutes into this, and nothing's really happened. They, just have a, they had the business executive guy get choked to death and the garbage man. Both characters we had no emotional attachment to at, at all.
Well, you are a student and a teacher, so I trust your judgments. I don't know when that is, but it sounded professional, didn't it? He's going to live in shitopia. This is what he gets for taking the doll that was actually uh, mailed to him to begin with. He's How dare he take something that was actually his to begin with? I'll show him. throw up from walking in circles what a pussy <laughs> what a freaking joke I mean, he's gonna throw up from walking in circles in his rain gear what a big freaking baby wait i thought everybody was outside walking what are these two kids doing Tyler left. Hey, Tyler just broke up with Chucky. He left him a Dear John note. <laughs> a Dear Chuck. Yeah, Dear Chuck letter. Chucky's Act natural, lo- Chucky. Yeah, Chucky, Chucky Chucky's Chuck losing it, man. Twist. You're right there. I win. God damn it. I don't know, but I've been told a dick is true because it is cold. Dude, who who wrote the who wrote the treatment for this movie, the script, and who who greenlit it? I want to talk to both these people on the next uh, after the, you know beyond the slash. This Kent University because like Sheldon Superman apparently he like flashed over there. Do you think that this guy who's in charge of the kids here at the military base is such a dick because he's sexually frustrated because there's only two females in the entire school? Yeah, and they kept taking his doll away. He's like, well, that doll, I mean, there's only two females. They're both kind of like otherwise occupied. This doll's got long hair and just luscious lips like Josh on, on Slash <laughs> tracks And striking blue eyes. Yeah, striking blue eyes. Just <laughs> gasoline blue eyes. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. <laughs> he walks like he's got a stick up. It's like does he's Chuck, on a stick. Does Chucky eat? Does he have to shit and stuff? Does he pee? This is a serious question. The effects were down on this one. Trying to prove how how big you can walk in the world without throwing up. There's the only two girls in school. <laughs> no, that's not. No, that's number three, man. That's a third girl. Oh, I think you're right. That's the third One girl the best, right there. Best deaths in the entire franchise is coming up, though. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on, let's be all <laughs> girls. Okay, we're girls. We're not the guys. Come on. How do, how does everybody know immediately where eyes. dude how does everyone know immediately where Andy's file is <laughs> like Chuck right. went right to it she's going right to it and will stuff all be filed already and would it include newspaper clippings yeah. about the I mean, shit that on. happened with photocopies of the, of the killer that he is saying that he's the you know possessed doll killer of come on No, 
Don't look. Don't look. Turn around for a second. Bloop. Yeah, we couldn't sleep because we're like the only one of the only three girls on campus with like 200 guys that are not getting laid. We, we sleep with an eye open every night. There's there's a reason why they kind of rebooted the Child's Play series after this movie, because this movie is slow as shit. I don't hate the movie, but it, it's got a lot of flaws. I'm going to use it. <laughs> that kid is an excellent actor, by the way. He is, like, delivering those lines with gusto, Josh. Don't stop. Wait. He looks no. stupid. Stop. Wait. Don't stop. No. Don't stop. Or, or the boy from Jack. Jacko. No. Yeah, no. Like, well, Jacko makes this kid look like a tour de force. I like pretty and pink lipstick. God damn it. Yeah, that lipstick doesn't match his overalls. This is the best death in the entire series, man. I love it. Do you think they cast him, his, his body type, based on this scene? Like, they're like, we need a guy who looks kind of out of shape. He's older. Like he's about to die of a heart attack yeah, in these yeah. seconds. <laughs> they're like, hey, this is guy's got what we need for this role. All right, just act like you uh, were that week before we cast you when we got you from the hospital. What the hell is in the middle there? Is that an ant farm? <laughs> like, what, what is that there in the middle there? Under glass. Something very important, apparently. They got a lot Put of trophies. Up. They got a lot of trophies at this school. What the hell do they got trophies for? Hey, I threw that doll away. Why did Chucky hide it all if he was just going to come alive? <laughs> exactly. What's the, what's the point here? Maybe he was picked on as a kid and like put the trash can in the toilet and he just had enough. Okay, at that point, I'd be pretty terrified too. Right there, that would that freak the shit out of me. <laughs> I just start whistling and walking as fast as I could out. The, the best death ever. And he's got lipstick on. Is that what did it? Is that what put the guy over the top? He's like, boys aren't supposed to wear lipstick. That's silly. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, so... The glass covering could just be pushed off. It wasn't like secured down or anything. It like so. There's the answer that I asked the, the to the question I asked. It was there for him to break through with his big ass. All right, this is not a this is not the dead dead principal drill. This is the real one. <laughs> no, they're Everybody actually the hallway. This is uh, the aftermath of the of the opening night of this film. They're wheeling out the people who paid good money to see it. We got another couple dead bodies that paid to see this shit heap. What are they going to do now? The only adult teacher in the entire school is dead. Well, the guy, the asshole is going to have more power. Is that what happens? (laughs) Oh, there's another guy. What the hell? So in the military, they make you pray, huh? Separation separate church in Kent University. Wait, did he just try to pick up a spoon to use as a knife? That guy would have it. 
and then Saturday night at the movies. Hey, that guy right out there had long enough hair. Well, the problem is, is that he's wearing, tight. like I've said this before, he's in, he's wearing camo, so they don't see him sneaking up while they're eating their, their pancakes. Grab the girls here, I dare you. Man, this guy. And I shaved my pubes last night. This guy's career has not been great past Hellraiser, to be honest with you. Did you just sniff it? I think he just sniffed it at the last <laughs> Wait, that's day. His, that's his own fault for making Andy go get another haircut. He could have cut it shorter when Andy first arrived. He's the one who gave him that fucking flat top in the first place. What's so funny? <laughs> you don't have good good coordination. Now laugh some more. <laughs> Commence laughing. He's a clown. It is. It was pretty easy to laugh. Hey, how did he get that toast back on his plate so nice and everything? How is this kid allowed to have that at lunch in a military school? That That's the, another big po- plot flaw there. And he just flopped his uniform, his arm of his uniform into his buttered toast. How did that not set Sheldon off? He's got such a fetish for shiny shoes and whatnot. And his shirt lies, too. He's a bad guy. Tyler, aside from the fact that you're a dirty little thief and you mess with the federal uh, mail system, I'm going to disregard that comment. He's a bad guy. What? That's some that's some fucked up barber talk right there. Usually I just talk about the weather or the sports. It's better than being a dumbass. I wonder if he had any uh, barber training before taking this role. Maybe butcher training. Whitehurst's like, no, <laughs> my neck. Whitehurst, you are the sorriest piece of shit. Poor excuse. Bottom of the barrel. Scum of the pond. Whitehurst. Oh, he killed himself. <laughs> Whitehurst, you are the shittiest customer I have ever had. How do you look yourself in the mirror, Whitehurst? You can't take a haircut for shit, Whitehurst. What the hell, Chucky? I told you Saturday for your haircut. Yeah, exactly. Thursday. exactly. <laughs> well, the early bird gets the buzz cut. Nobody's looking. I'm going to fuck this doll. Tuesday last week. When you told me to at lunch. <laughs> She's Chucky sitting there eating some food. <laughs> Thursday. <It's> all, <laughs> yeah, when you told me Thursday when I was at lunch. Remember? Would the hair grow back? I'm curious. Is he that biological at this point? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if he has to pee or take a dump, but you wouldn't answer it for me. It looks like Chucky's in Jackass right here, like they're sneaking up on him. Dun it, dun it, dun it with the clippers. Well, you know, everybody knows that a straight edge razor is attached to every barber chair, Josh, yes. that I've ever got had a haircut in. Well, yeah, it's right next to the butcher knife and the machete. Yeah, they put the barber cape on you, and then they attach two straight edge razors with a handle. Right, so in case you know your haircut's not going well, you can kill the barber. And the kiddies need something to play with when they're getting their haircut. Exactly. Presto, you're in a shitty movie. Boo. And so Whitehurst just goes right back to the war games after seeing this. Yes. <laughs> 
I'm a little mad that he died because I was on retirement from being the only teacher here, and now I had to come out of retirement. I know. He was on furlough. The schedule will proceed as war games. Gladiators, ready! <laughs> Military kids, ready! Begin! <laughs> This is my gun. I mean, it's my rifle. This is my gun. That one's for shooting. This one's for fun. The hell is that? Why's Tyler looking like he's, uh, if you do, handle circles? <laughs> Somebody's behind the door. Just, uh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you've ever used a paintball gun, Josh, but this is not how paintball guns work. They're, they're, they're powered by, like, CO2. They're not in actual rifles, per se. Are you all done walking in circles? Oh, nothing. I just had a pretty, pretty awful haircut. That's all. <laughs> he, didn't you go. Know, he, he told me I was a piece of shit and the worst person he's ever seen. <laughs> the magazine, the magazine selection at the barbershop today was pretty subpar. I can't catch my breath because of it. Yeah. So the rifle that shoots paint also shoots live ammunition. Yeah, Alex. that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. So he, wait a minute. They all had, Josh, they all had their rifles already on them, didn't they? Yes. So what is, so he's loading guns they're not even going to use. They already yeah, have already the rifles right here. Look, <laughs> they have the rifles. They had them from before. That so the means guns, the red team already loaded their guns with live ammunition anyways. They were going like, to kill the other team. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. All the guns, they already had them. Every time I went to the, uh, go play paintball out on a course, I always check both both sides of guns just because of this. This is where I learned it was interchangeable. Yeah, I always I always check their hopper where the paintballs go on a CO2, yeah. you know, paint marker make sure gun. There's not bullets. Yeah, I make sure there's not bu actual bullets in the freaking paintball <laughs> hopper. Twenty nine minutes in the movies through. Five, four, three, and two. A little bit longer in this movie, so. Andy's kind of, like, to blame for a lot of this still going on because Andy knows Chucky's out doing all this crap, but he's not doing anything about it. I hope Tyler's tough enough to protect himself or whatever he says. Yeah, exactly. This guy, he will, he, you know what? I'm actually kind of on Andy's side on that one because Tyler did take his mail. So, you know, he sure did. That's a felony. Yeah, he's still kind of pissed off about that. It's like when a roommate, you, you have leftovers from a restaurant, and your roommate eats your leftovers without asking. I think Chuck is going to drop a dime on He caught him. Wait, did they put both the girls on the same team? Yeah, that team's screwed. <laughs> I'm, I'm jo just joking, just kidding. She got signed to a better movie. Ew. What the hell is he dragging himself across the floor with? <laughs> but he's dismembered. And he's like, this story ain't shit. I've seen way worse in real life. <laughs> Whitehurst. Whitehurst. There was this barber that was a real prick to people. That's where they hired the writer and the director for this film. And the guy from Troll 2 that worked at the convenience store in it. Hey, this isn't standard issue frolicking here. Uh, I don't know if, the, the, if this frolicking and meandering is allowed during the war games. Let me tell you something about Chucky and the war games, baby. It's me, Dusty Rose, the American Dream. <laughs> 
And if you guys, baby, are going to be having the war games, you're going to be paying Eric Bischoff and the TNT some money, you see? Because I'm the son of a plumber, baby. War games. <laughs> American dream. Come here, Andy. I want to show you something. That's pretty cool, huh? It's a, it's a carnival. I've almost forgotten there were places like that because I've been in military school for a day. <laughs> well, he's been in foster homes and probably asylums. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> in between, okay. I'm sure. Dude, Andy's probably got so much emotional baggage and just PTSD and just OCD and just anxiety issues that he would be a real nightmare to date for her. She's She'd be better off if he just wasn't interested. Wait, what? He, seeing the two teenagers making out made him want to get out of his body. So he just got turned on by watching two teenagers make out, one of which is Andy, who he really wants to kill. I mean, I knew Chucky was fucked up, but he's got some weird kink, man. Weird kink. So the choking and the strangling uh, tell people die isn't the weird kink you got a problem with is where he gets attracted by a male to female making out. I think Teenagers. you've got you've got bigger <laughs> issues than Charles Lee Ray, Josh. Meanwhile, in Whitehurst tent. <laughs> I can't. Barber, he cut my hair. He was really emotionally abusive to me. And then I saw a doll. Oh, no. And then I had to walk in circles. Yeah. And the, the, the barber told me uh, to come back next Thursday, but he's dead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I don't want to be the I don't want to be the worst poor excuse for a soldier little pig boy ever again. I'm lost emotionally. It will be in five minutes. It'll be a ghost town for sure. Colonel Nostradamus there. There's a map missing? What? I thought it was Sheldon. Not Shelton. I'm I'm lost. Now I now I don't understand anything about the movie. It was they did call him Sheldon earlier, and now they're saying Shelton, so I'm also at a loss here. We're gonna have to start over. Yeah, because they care so much about your war games. Isn't it obvious how serious Andy's been taking all of this? And, you know, Andy, of course, came up with this military strategy since he has so much elaborate training under his belt. There's more little kids. Away with... Yeah, where where did the other child come all from? Are Lexington? What does that mean? Away with the oxen livestock? What does AWOL mean? Yeah, check in on that radio. Make sure that radio is okay. Make sure it has everything it needs. Check in on it every five minutes. Did they give Shelton... Like, is he actually Southern, or is he, like, that just part of his method, like, character? <laughs> like, is, like, what's the deal here? Okay, we want you to try to sound like that that really mean old drill sergeant guy from uh, Full Metal Jacket. Can you do that? Ah, okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just do, okay, that's fine. Yeah, just stop talking. So Chucky's got I that really big knife. People... Chucky's got that big knife. He's got those bullets stra- uh, strapped across his chest. He's trying to be Ram Bro. Ah, ah, that's what you did there. That's actually paint bullets. He fucked up. <laughs> wow, he bled really fast. Like he was a balloon. 
got popped. Bar of clay, bar of clay. <clears throat> I didn't I didn't think Tyler believed him. Like, what was the plot point that made him change his mind right here? Chucky said, I'm not good, I'm bad. So he found out he was lying, he wasn't a good guy. No, he'll make me walk in circles. No, not worth it. He'll try to help me improve my my physical stamina. <laughs> I can't deal with it. De Silva, do you copy? I want to talk to you about your insurance policy. Yeah, uh, I want to talk to you about your warranty on your automobile. It's about ready to lapse. That's Charles. Are you not paying attention? Fuck. Okay, I'm kind of rooting for Chucky at this point. We're all kids. It's a very broad statement, Charles. They should have put Shelton on the poster instead of Chucky. They should have made Chucky the hero. Right? Yeah, the where he's trying to kill Sheldon. Oh, they just had live grenades lying around the military academy. No, it's just filled with paint. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> interchangeable. Yeah, instead of shrapnel and like pieces of grenade, you know, lodging into people's bodies, it just covers them with paint. You know, red or blue. Set around, <laughs> set back and watch the sparks fly. Set back and watch the third act finish, please. Oh, this movie has acts. You think it actually has acts. That's cute. Let's do it, do it Barkley. Come on, you freaking AWOL. I have you walking in circles. Doing, doing gun presses over your head. Tell, oh, 100. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, your hands don't work that good. I'd be careful if I were you. Hey, it's going to that- be a pile of shit for another 10 years. That grenade, dude, is just like one of those smoke ones you get from the like novelty store. It just starts <laughs> pushing smoke Shh. out. You know, this is all your I fault, kid, Tyler, you little fucker. Not act one ounce. <laughs> That's probably why we never saw him in anything <clears throat> ever again. Except for maybe an episode of like City Guys or like Malibu or you know, California Dreams. Hey, Tommy was on an episode of that from Power Rangers. On what? Uh, California Dreams. Was he, like, supposed to be in a band? Yeah, it was, like, one episode. Like, Jason David Frank was in it. Did he get to kick anybody's ass? Did he get to kick Weasel's ass? (laughs) Oh, no. All of a sudden, they throw him down on the ground and start doing it. You gave us permission, sir. Oh, Damn, hell. Why is it all dramatic? Nobody cares that that character's dead. You know, it could... They don't notice that the gun is, like, making a distinctly different sound than when right. you the guy fired the paint. Well, that's what the paint rounds sound like, too. Oh, you stopped, assholes. In the book, they really played out Whitehurst getting his guts finally more than the movie does. It's like, eh, whatever. Yeah, because Andy did it. 
You're the one that pulled the trigger, weren't you? His arm falls off because it's still plastic. Loop. Well, that could have ended the movie sooner for us, damn it. I'll be okay. I've been doing my left turns. Dude, he wanted to be out of the military school so bad. He'd rather take a grenade to the torso than stay there any any one second longer. Now he's really got a stomach ache, right? Whitehurst, did I give you permission to die? <laughs> Get up, Whitehurst. <laughs> Man, if Whitehurst doesn't get up soon, they're all going to be marching in circles. Well, Whitehurst screwed him again, Josh. Way to go, bud. the fourth girl. <laughs> How much you want to bet that girl's just an extra, you know, and, like, saw her chance to be on screen? <laughs> oh, we'll man. The carnival didn't hear any of the gunshots or any of the grenades going off. Nothing. Nothing, no. Not a damn thing. Uh, they're just thing. having their paintball tournament. Oh, there's the reason why nobody heard it, his music. Man, that I can't guy. Hear no grenades going off or gunfire if it happens. Turn that what, down. What led that guy, the, the carnival, the traveling carnival security guard, to where he uh, is at his life right there? What led, what decisions, what terrible decisions led him there? Well, now I'm, now I'm depressed. I'm just depressed. You've, there's no meaning to life anymore. <laughs> Why? Did you work at a traveling carnival or something? No, I just feel bad for that guy now. <laughs> You're like, I'm actually recording from a traveling carnival. Right. right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> In the book, it's two cops that find the kid, man, Chucky, and they found him on the road. It's pretty cool. The book sounds like it's way better than the movie. It is. It's actually way better than the movie. <laughs> This will cheer you up. It's some cocaine. <laughs> Good lord! I confiscated lord. it earlier. Some some sugar burger, burger sugar. I know it'll cheer you up, Alex. Here's You're some welcome, crack. daughter. Now I want some funnel cake. Damn it! Oh my god, funnel cake, fried Twinkies. Oh everything. man, Fr fried Snickers. Candy, uh, Ooh, cotton fried candy. Fried security. It fried security. <laughs> <laughs> the lost and fried. <laughs> Dude, carnivals have the best corn dogs, man. No joke. I think they hand dip them, right? Do they hand dip them there? I don't think so. They have to, man. They're the best. I want to try an air fryer out. Dude, yeah. I'd play. I'd play hide the soul with Charles Lee Ray to get a hand dip corn dog. So what do they do to the guy? Shoot him in the head? Is that is that a bullet hole or? I don't know. A paintball. Wait, I'm collecting bullets from dead people. Wait a minute. The carnival traveling carnival security guard had a revolver. In case yes. what? Something got out of hand on the tilt a whirl. Like what? What the hell did he have a revolver for? In clay. In case uh, Touchy the clown broke his. Uh, Probation. Dude, I, I guarantee the foreshadowing from when she was shooting and her grouping on the the sheet, you know, when she was practicing her, her shooting, that's going to come into play right here. Come on, Tyler. What's he going to do? Shoot you? He needs you. You dipshit. I, I didn't want to kill you. I just want to cut you a little bit. Beware of employees only. What the... Why am I why am I supposed to be scared of the employees? Oh, it's a carnival. Yeah, you don't have to put a sign up. I'm trust me. When I go to a carnival, I know to watch out for the employees. Oh yeah, those kids are scared, Alex. Those that ride was terrifying them. That audio yep. was not done in post. 
Dude, <laughs> that smoke right there is actually from the grenade that he pulled uh, the pin on earlier. That's what actually happened. Bam. Kid's dead. Chucky's Those like, the... oh, yeah? <laughs> the screaming is the audience members at the premiere of this film. I like to be hugged. I like to be hugged. I think I'm blind, kid. Chucky with a freaking snub nose revolver, man. Little 38 or whatever special. I will tell you the ending in the book I preferred over the movie. It happens in the same area, but different. Chucky's, I'm just going to give it away. You know, whenever he starts doing his uh, Ade ah, Due Dimbala shit, the storm yeah. clouds and lightning, the lightning strikes the ride he's on when he starts doing that. And really? shows it. Yeah, his own spells, what does him in, uh, gets him killed. That's in fantastic. I wish that was in the movie. <laughs> Yeah, check it out. You, know, you gotta go listen to the last chapter. Alright. On the 80 Slasher Librarian channel. Right here. <laughs> if Master Evil lets me listen to something other than uh, the sat- the audiobooks of uh, Chains Rattling and uh, Mr. Flivel uh, reading cans of tuna, you know, ingredients. <laughs> wow. Twice in one night that kid's almost been hit by that thing. By the way, that's not a thing there. That that's the real that's the real deal. The metal kid, weapon there of the Grim Reaper. Dude, this kid shouldn't be afraid of Chucky. He should be afraid of just walking. He's almost been hit by the carnival ride twice, like you said. He can't uh, stop from getting his foot caught in some crap. Why would the ride install a real metal uh, sickle thing? You know, like it, it's sharp and everything. Just in case their security guard is murdered by a, a you know a doll, they got backup. <laughs> like a, that ride is the scariest ride in the world if that's a real sickle. Yeah, you, you know? could actually die on that ride. <laughs> like for real, real. Get your real. face half ripped off. <clears throat> Charles, I wanted to play hide the soul, not hide the face. Please hide the face. Just hide it. Dude, he's going to ride that freaking demon around when there's an actual swinging blade near. I saw the daily, Alex. Chucky look real being lifted up. What can we do to make it look like he's really alive? Just uncontrollably as he's being lifted? Okay, we'll do that. This looks like hell in the pick of destiny. It does. I feel like we've been watching this movie for three hours and 57 minutes, man. This thing is dragging. (laughs) I feel like we started the movie had to stop it and then restart it again at some point in the beginning and then watch the whole thing. I know. It's like, it's like a bad dream. And you wake up, you go back to sleep, and you go right back into the nightmare again. <laughs> Give me another sequel, I beg of you. <laughs> Give me a series Turn... reboot, I beg of you. Turn me into a half comedy series so I can put out four more sequels, I beg of you. And, and a, a TV reboot. series. And a reboot. <laughs> a reimagining. Yeah, and a TV series. Yeah, I tried recording it, doing the line, all that. The voodoo spells when I was narrating it. I ended up just using the audio from the movies because it was, it was so bad. Really? <laughs> yes, odd day, do a day. How do the evil spirits know they they distinguish 
between like the you know the voodoo and then the English. He's speaking. He's basically speaking Spanglish, two different languages. How many times does he have to say it before it affects? Because he had like seven of them out right there. Damn it! All I had to do was say it an eighth time. Oh, a ninth time. Shit, ten times. Damn it! In the book, they leave it ambiguous. You don't know if it worked or not at first. Yeah, I'm just fine, and I mean, yeah, I'm okay, Andy. Get out of here. Chucky's missing a face, an arm, a neck. Their safety measures suck at that carnival, man. A real scythe, a giant fan with no cover. Who's in charge of the carnival? Who's taking the tickets and stuff? Nobody's noticing any of this going on? Well, the security guard, the only security guard for the whole carnival is dead. And his gun is gone. Let me give you a hand, Chucky. <laughs> yeah, that 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 looked like he was screaming and not just falling. Okay, he did real, real good there. Hey, Chucky, you got to meet your biggest fan. I'm, I'm firing myself. I'm fired. Hey, all the blood and the Chucky parts, though. This fan is right next to where they make the desserts and stuff. So his blood gets mixed into all the food, and he comes back as has a big old dessert treat, a fried Twinkie or Snickers. Yeah, he's a fried Twinkie or Snickers or cotton candy. Ah, day do I taste good? <laughs> We're on our way in. Okay, thanks. Everything's already taken care of, asshole. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell him Shelton did everything. He'll be back in 10 years, and I'll be 30 by then. You're going to jail for murder. Like, there's a whole string of dead bodies. I've been here before. It's okay. Well, it's not death row, but I'll figure it out. Is this guy doing hey, community book, service at the carnival? What the hell is he doing? Yeah. In the book, that guy right there is the one that finds it all. The pieces at the end. It's pretty cool. The Gravitron. I rode that thing uh, like 10 times in one night, and then the carnival was going to leave the next day. Begged my dad to take me. He's like, we'll go we'll go ride it one time. We go to lunch right before it. I ride it, puke my guts out. The, the entire lunch he bought me the next day. My dad Jesus. was pissed. My dad was pissed. You say Sergeant Jesus? Botnick, Andrew Robinson. I'm sorry, I had to point that out because he got the big uh, and credit at the beginning, just like uh, Brad Dourif did. <laughs> well, I thought you said Jesus was, uh, when you said Jesus, I thought he had a credit in the film. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus, made, it's all possible. Excuse Carnival me. Carnival teenager, Jesus Christ. Trash picker. Hey, trash picker, David Osasna. Osasna. Yeah. Os- Osasna. Green gravy. Stunt coordinator, Dick Warlock. Let's see what we got here. Petco Khadiv. Hey, he has a whole business a string of uh, fran- He's got a whole franchise named after him. Petco right there. Set decorator, Ethel Robbins Richards. She's Tim responsible. Tim Flattery will get you nowhere. Robert K. What you talking about, Willis? Swing. <laughs> Norman Lang. Who's that? Jeffrey Roberts. Excel Williams. Excel Williams. Does not excel, Williams. He operates a fucking lamp. He was one of the ten lamp operators, folks. I'm glad they needed they needed professionals to operate all the lamps. Dude, technical advisor. They had an actual military guy. Did you see that? Lieutenant something. That was actually a, a real life killer doll. Uh, he just happened to be in the military. No, the guy, the lieutenant, the guy, the technical advisor, he's like, listen, when we actually replace live rounds with paintballs, this is how it's <laughs> supposed to look in real life, all right? What about when uh, somebody jumps on a grenade? <laughs> this is how it's supposed to look, damn it. 
I have to do everything around here. Dollar General Association trainee, Jessica Kreps. Hey, there's the paint foreman, man. The paint foreman. Paint foreman, Kenneth H. Pat Robertson. <laughs> you didn't know this was brought to you by the 700 Club. Chucky Effects by Kevin Yeager. He's actually really good at what he does. He's Ronnie married. Pipes. Kevin Yeager slash uh, Slashaholics, he's married to the lady who played Andy's mom in the first Child's Play. And she was also oh. the mom on Seventh Heaven. A little tidbit there of information. Yeah. In case you're ever on That's... a game show or something. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. See, I was going to do the thing where I made fun of the movie with the songs, but... I don't even say that word or that word. Dude, they didn't even, like, let's be honest, man. This wasn't much of a soundtrack. This is more like ominous tones. They they couldn't use UltraCam 34 because it wasn't good enough, and UltraCam 36 technology hadn't been uh, completely finished yet. So they went with UltraCam 35. All Color right, man. By huh? Dom Deluxe. You ready to go see what Master Evil's got to say now? You bet your ass I am. Let's go. Let's do it now. At least the movie's over. All right, let's go. Well, prisoners, how did you fare? I mean, it was pretty bad, but it wasn't, like, the worst thing that we've ever seen or that you've sent us. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's still Chucky, after all. I mean, even the worst Chucky movie is still fun, right? Looks like you have to try harder, son. Why don't you tell them about the movie I picked for them to watch next time? Rodeo Clown, that's it. I'm done. Stop, stop with the with the ghoulies crap. Everything, the singing, nothing. You're that's it. You're gone. You're gone. But, but Alex, I would walk five hundred miles, and I would walk five hundred more just to be the clown that walks one thousand miles to fall down at your door. Da 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 da. Okay, okay, damn it, you and that golden voice. You've swayed me again. I don't know how you do it, bud. You can you can stay. You can stay. Hey, I've got my bear friend over. Like a bear bear? Okay, okay, no, not getting pulled into that. That's y'all's thing, you and the rodeo clown. What is the movie Mother Evil's picked out? God help us, why did I ask? You tell them, Ma. Uh... Oh, this one is going to shake you to your core. I will be completely surprised if you are able to walk away from Hellraiser Revelation. No! No! No, no, no! no. Indeed! Shit! And since Josh is already slipping off the edge of insanity, this should push him the rest of the way. (laughs) What are you guys talking about? I told you I'm fine. Dude, I just saw what you did, man. The jig's up. You were just talking in the Chucky voice, and you talk to yourself that way back. You're doing the back and forth. You do the voice, then you do the Chucky voice. It's kind of creepy, pal. No, no, I wasn't. It was him. I swear. I swear. Come on, man. Come on. It's okay. You just have to admit that you have a problem. That's the first step. And then another step off of a cliff. (laughs) See? I told you. (laughs) I told you, it's the damn doll. It's the damn doll. What up, doll. Josh? What up, Alex? Slash track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. <sighs> oh well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and check out these past episodes of Slash Tracks. I'm in most of them, I'd say. Uh, there's one, and there's one, and there's one.